Welcome back. Moving forward. In this lesson, I'm going to demonstrate how to install the AWS toolkit for the Eclipse IDE. So basically, the this toolkit for Eclipse is an open source plugin for the Eclipse Java IDE that simply makes it easier for us developers to develop, debug, and deploy Java applications using the Amazon Web Services. So in other words, with this AWS toolkit for Eclipse, you'll be able to get started faster and be more productive when building AWS applications. And that's the whole idea. So let me go ahead and in fact demonstrate how to install the AWS toolkit for Eclipse. And once we install, in subsequent lesson, I'm gonna also show you how to uh, connect your AWS account with the Eclipse IDE so that we can start building some Java apps. So once we have the Eclipse open, I'm going to simply go ahead and first go to help and make sure, click on about Eclipse. I need to make sure that the version is current, right? So if it's not, make sure you update your Eclipse IDE environment. So right now it's Mars.2 and the release is 4.5.2, which is the current one. If not, you can always click on OK, go back to help and then navigate to check for updates and it's going to check the recent updates. But in this instance, we're interested in creating or installing new software. Um, assuming that we know the URL of the SDK. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on install new software. And by the way, if you don't know, you can always click on Eclipse Marketplace and search for the AWS SDK. So I'm going to go ahead and click on install new software. This brings up this dialog box and I'm going to work with, this is the URL aws.amazon.com forward slash eclipse. So simply click add. I'm going to give it a name. I'm going to call it AWS. Click OK. And what this is going to do is, is simply try to fetch this particular SDK from Amazon. And notice on the bottom right, it says fetching children of AWS about 50%. So once it's completed, it's going to display everything in this window. And all I have to do is just click on finish once it's done. All right, so notice it provides me several options. For example, the AWS core management tools. I have the option to install the deployment tools and a couple of optional as well. So if I'm into Android development or data management tool, I can always install those. If I expand to see further details, it provides me the core management tools and the sub tools that are available. Similarly, for the development tools, this is what I'm really interested in. It provides code deploy plugin, the Elastic Beanstalk, which is wonderful, Lambda plugin, and then the Ops Work plugins. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and in fact install the management console tools, the deployment tools, and let's go ahead and do the optional ones as well. So we're gonna have to go back and install, might as well install them at once. So once I've selected all of these, I'm gonna go ahead and click next. And this is going to, of course, calculate the requirements and dependencies and begin the installation process. All right, once everything is installed, uh, it does take a while, by the way, just so you know, so you're aware the more options you select to be installed the longer it's going to take so here uh, everything is installed except the aws sdk for android um, in order to install this we need to go back and use the correct url and then follow the same process but for our purpose everything else is installed correctly so i'm going to go ahead and click next it's going to calculate all the requirements and dependencies again and allows me to move forward after the install remediation page because I've selected all of them. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and review the items that are to be installed. Click Next. And here, simply accept the terms of the license and then click Finish. So it's gonna go ahead on the bottom right corner, you'll notice it's actually going to go ahead and install the software for us. All right, great. So once all of these softwares have been installed, 
of course we need to restart the eclipse editor so the message pops up you will need to restart eclipse for the changes to take effect would you like to restart now and of course i'm going to click on yes and it's going to close the eclipse program and then open it back up again so let's go ahead and click on yes i'm just going to go ahead and simply open the eclipse id once again so that we can start using the installed software all right great so once it successfully reopens the Eclipse editor. Notice the very first dialog box says welcome to the AWS toolkit for Eclipse. We do need to configure because we need to provide the account credentials here so that the IDE here Eclipse can actually connect to your web services account. And this is important because if you need to create Java apps locally within the Eclipse editor, we need to deploy it to the Amazon Beanstalk, right? So first things first, where do I go and get this access key ID and what is the secret access key ID, okay? So this I'm gonna demonstrate in my next lesson by logging on to my Amazon Web Services account and then finding what these keys are. So hope this helps. Practice, let's move to the next lesson.